B T S exclamation mark. You know, this llama is actually not bad. Besides the weird teeth thing I did. That's not gonna work. You know, I think we're ruining it by adding the mouth. I think the minimalistic style is what we're looking for. Hello, anyone and everyone, welcome to Ed Thrall Plays, past part two -y. Three? I mean, this is not the third game, this is the third time I'm playing it on the channel. It's been probably like a year or two since I've played this. Uh, we have a list of small things that people want us to draw, and we're going to jump in and try and draw this. Right? Right. In the beginning. I, I have no idea where we left off. Past part two is a game where you are a starving French artist. Ah, uh, there's my last workshop, my last drawing. I remember that one was like Harry Potter, but the joke was Harry Potter was really small and... Fuck you, Benjamin. Dude, I just got back into the... Alright. No, yeah, we'll, we'll get past that. Uh, we'll get past that terrible trials and tribulations, but now we're gonna draw. Let us draw and show the world our, our, our skills, our chic technique, and uh... Yeah, this first drawing is going to be from Little Bishop. She wanted a... Color's too crazy for me. I hear you, dude. That yellow, red, gray, and beige are way too wild. Well, we'll fix this one. We're going to have a nice little... Uh -huh. A nice little... Uh -huh. And then we're going to... You know, hit it with one of these. Let's make the grass more even. Boom. Power down, power down. Make a fat kitty head. So bland. How is it bland for too bland for you? But uh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, I didn't know we could do that. that that's another level. That's uh, extremely. There you go. We got a little cat paw. That was two cat paws. If you couldn't tell. Are you just gonna hover around and tell me that the same thing is bland over and over again, or you just not have a life, lady? Huh? Is that, is that it? You just don't have a life? Can we just do a bare minimum at all? No, 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 no. That didn't work. You know, it would be like one of those cats that has a cool, like, white mustache, even though it doesn't make sense. I think that's, I think that's a good move. Boom. With a little little cat eye, cat eye. Chasing it for the cash? No, that I'm in it for the for the artist. I'm in it for the the true feel. What are you talking about? Just in it for the cash. You're gonna have white cat eyebrows, and then you're gonna have you know your little cat. You can't see that side because that side the ear's not facing you that way. Maybe I should just do like a little bit like a. You know, the example that you have fucking lopsided ears. Uh, beautiful. Let's add like a little white spot just for the you know, white spot on the tail. The choice of colors are a bit, is a bit too radical. You guys need to make up your mind. Bills inbound. That's not good. Economy. Tell me something I don't know. Life. Tell me something I don't know. I'm gonna put some little white socks on our cat. Our cat's gonna have nice little white socks on both of these little feetsies. But you know. He doesn't have a... Uh... Oh, yes, he does. Cool. You know, that's how our cats are unique. The cat we adopt in the future... What, is the energy? what do you mean? The energy. It's a massive snake coming at you from your part. You don't comprehend. And that's the cat. You know, we're going to draw something a little zesty just to help with Rebecca. Just, she wanted this art. I'm going to give her some art. Don't you worry. One of these. Just uh, a little extra. A little extra for Rebecca. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Too crazy for me. I hear you, dude. I'm drawing some crazy shit. Here's Rebecca's, I mean, little bishop's cat that she wanted. And, uh, 
alien on top of it that we're not going to worry about. Boom, boom, boom. We will name this... Three Mittens. Like, the cat's name is going to be Mittens, but she only has three mittens. Perfect. Three mittens. How's that for some art, baby? Alright, beautiful, I know. Bitch is talking about how bland my stuff is and she's over here wearing all purple. Alright. What does B next is a request from Gavino Terry B and she wants BTS slash This fella has no energy. What you Alright. BTS do we know what BTS looks like? No. No, we don't. But what we do know, we do know what rhinos look like, right? So that's what we have to work with. We know. Now that's a little rhino head. That's two. Oh no. That's two. Oh no, we used. Alright. Gotta be smart in this. So we're gonna use this as the whole background. Right? Oh yes, yes, I would love it. Sorry, I didn't see you were trying to buy that, sir. I liked you before you were cool. What do you mean? Nothing's cooler than a cat. Every haven't you ever seen aristocrats? Everybody I mean I guess it's a snake, that's uh I'm completely doing the wrong reference. Perfect. No, that was a joke. That was a joke. Alright, uh BTS. So we know. Let's try to try and draw, you know. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult. We're gonna wanna draw the rhino's head. But I know that's gonna be like Right? That's how you draw like a rhino's beautiful head. And then he has like cute little floppy ears, doesn't he? Yeah, you know, like that like that. Like no, oh my gosh, it looks so bad. We'll have to No. Yeah, let's erase that. Alright. You're gonna draw this cute rhino body. You know, we're gonna be like, do. You know, rhinos are kind of chunky boys, obviously. They're kind of chunky boys. This makes sense. Ed, are you drawing the cat again? Shut up! It's very close, I'm aware. Okay, let's do like, you ready? You have like some like. No, 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 no. We're not doing that anymore. We're not doing what we thought we were doing. There you go. That's your little. That's your little rhino tail. And you got like honkers for legs, obviously. It's very akin to uh, what we just did for the cat, except. Yeah, that's a cool horn. Clearly, that's a efficient horn for gouging many of foes. And we got that right there. Where's the music? Where's the music stop in this game? Now I'm just sort of like monologuing to myself like an idiot. It's alright. We've always done that. You know, we're gonna do some of this, some of this. Just, uh, you know? Just, uh, like, you know, th these are our rhino ears. Clearly, his ears are facing one towards the camera and one away, one to the front of his face. Now we got that. That was the easy part, to be honest. <laughs> That's the, le uh, the least issue that we need. Alright, these guys are obviously K pop stars, BTS, so all they're all gonna have. You know, fancy red shoes. You can't be a K-pop star without fancy red shoes, obviously. You guys have to surround the rhino to show him that you love him. There's five members, right? Yeah, we're just gonna have this guy hang out next to uh, the rhino. Boom, boom, boom. This guy, you know, he's floating because he's ecstatic to be a part of a... No, I, I have an idea what I'm gonna do with that guy. All right. Do do do. What do you mean? That I've been doing the grass way too late. Don't worry about it. This is the African safari. This is. Oh no. You know we're just gonna, just gonna, just gonna keep on going with this. This is obviously the African safari. Ignore what I just did to that right now. Uh, <laughs> oh no. All right. Boom. Yeah. All right. This actually works still. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. That's the baby rhino, of course. He's still 
You know, he's still happy as can be. Look at him. Look at that. that that's a happy rhino. Clearly. Now we gotta keep drawing our BTS members. Uh, we should. Yeah, let's erase what. Let's erase this one. Let's erase this guy. And better yet, let's erase this guy up here too. And then we will. Hmm, our sweet sky. That's what. See, see, we're saving ourselves by adding sky. Oh no. We're ah. What have we done? We added the background after we added the foreground. This is no longer... What are you looking at, artist? Are you just... That guy's just staring at me, and he's really upsetting me. I'm not gonna lie. He's just like, what's going on? I'm like, you need to just leave. You can just leave, you jerk. We don't... Everyone was having a good time until you showed up, creepers. All right, see, this This will come into play later. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's clearly gonna come into play later. First, you gotta... Ooh. Oh no, that's so bad. Then you gotta boom. Boom. You got the legs again. Oh no, that's bad perspective. Don't worry, there's the legs, there's the leg, there's the leg. Ah, Add some more to his butt so we can have a little tail. A little tail with a little frill at the bottom. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? There's his horn. His, fa his sign of potent virility is his horn. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Buddy. How do we show that he's a baby? So we put a diaper on him? This is baby rhino, so clearly we have to put like a diaper on him. Yeah, alright. Here we go, here we go. We're gonna put a diaper on this baby rhino. And don't diapers usually have like a little yellow like tag on them, right? Isn't that like how you tell where you like rip off the diaper part? That's where the where the connector is. All right, now we need to draw his ears because he has ears, and we're not stupid. There we go. I think that works. I think this works. I think we're actually saving this drawing from itself, which we were failing earlier. All right. Um, that was his nose hole, obviously. Now time for the elusive BTS members, huh? Let's do like this This guy's feet. This guy, you know, he's gonna have his feet behind the rhino, obviously. He like, they're, they're posing near the rhino. They're like, they're, they're, sorry, he, that guy has weird feet also. Oh man. And we're just gonna draw, like he's, boom, all right. I'm gonna draw his pants connected to, they're all superstars, so they all have red hot, Yeezys, of course, and they're all going to be posing with this uh, rhino. They should all have the same body build, right? Like, in theory, in my head, they should. So they should all be around the same height. And, uh... Now we got this branch right here. Yeah, that fancy branch. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're gonna have. We're so smart. We're so smart and creative. Boom. You know, boom. This guy is gonna be chilling up here. BTS style. You know, for our favorite BTS videos, we like to chill with rhinos. Clearly. I I know every watch this is the simple thing you like baby rhino is a BTS song it's like it's a music video didn't you know that and I'll be like I had no idea I'm not I'm not a hip I'm not a hip boy I'm not hip like you kids all right and then of course everyone knows BTS rocks red shoes blue jeans <laughs> and white shirts because they're they're low key trying to appeal to an American audience God bless you know this guy is a little bit more heavy set we're not gonna lie. His name is BTS Chung. That's uh, Chuck. BTS Chung. This guy is ripped. That guy, he has a wide torso. You know? You know, all these guys and their boy band swagger. You gotta give them arm, arm areas. Arm areas. I say arm areas, like. Perfect. 
And then since they're Korean, you know, they have beige faces, right? Ooh, ooh, BTS, BTS. But how do we differentiate? How do we tell which BTS member is who? Well, obviously, you got your uh, BTS member with the red hair. And you get your BTS member with the white hair. Then you get your BTS member with the blue hair. Then you have your BTS member with the black hair. And then you have your BTS member with the brown hair. Oh, man, look at that. That's BTS. BTS all over the way. B T S exclamation mark exclamation mark. That's them, baby. That's BTS. So put that right next to the ooh. Everyone knows BTS meeting Baby Rhino is a famous thing. BTS slash Baby. Rhino. I hope that's not a band name. Uh, excuse me, I'll be on my way to go. Uh... Oh, hello? Sir? No, no, what the hell's happening? Didn't this happen in episode two? The critic. I see. We'll try. You, I'm pretty sure I met the critic at the end of the, the second video of this. I'm pretty sure. Fairly certain. But whatever, I guess he just. Oh, what the hell? Art as a Bridge, Harry Potter vs. the Fucking Snake by Passepartout. It was the only reason that I heard about Passepartout, a quirky young artist with a passion of mind and soul. Uh, as they walked down the crime stricken alley, I embraced the air of possibility before it being entranced by a piece on the table from a distance. I was struck by the craftsmanship. Yes, I'll go. All in all, Harry Potter vs. the Fucking Snake is a good effort. Passepartout has a lot of potential. Bad color. That guy's saying bad colors, but I have been accepted as a. Ooh, 1477? George, come in with the big money. Yes, I accept. I accept. Yes, I accept to the next area. Yes, yes, that's, yes. Oh, that's the button. I I knew it. Look at it on to Act Two. How do we do it? I could have swore. You know what? We'll, we'll check. I, I'm almost positive. We'll recheck the old video and see that's a fact. You have unlocked a new tool. A new tool. Um, hell yeah, let's go to our new studio now. What else can we draw on our list? Okay. So this is, this one is a, a drawing from Tiny Justice. Wait, no, it's not Tiny Justice, wrong, I'm skipping. Right now it's Tabs, and he wanted a Fall Guy slash Among Us, so he wants a season three outfit from Fall Guy. I hear ya. First things first, we know the whole, be it spaceship, or obstacle course is gonna be great. Yeah, I mean, regardless, we know it'll be a gray. Actually, let's have this. Let's just have this as the open area. I would love a straight line, but I guess that would require me to make a straight line, right? That would require my own ability to make a straight. What is this? Oh, that's weird. I don't know if I like that. <coughs> hmm. I don't not like this. This is weird. Or at least maybe that'll... It gives me the straight line, I guess, that I was trying to get. Alright, Among Us, Obstacle Course, slash... Okay, Among Us, slash... Fall Guy Among Us. So we're gonna have... No, this is what we're gonna have. We're gonna have a like a slide, like a wall area. And this is actually weirdly. I don't like how sluggish this is. Go. Oh yeah, we're we're going back to the old tried and true, old tried and true method. You know what I mean? Not to try. I'm sure that many artists will be better than me and will use that pen. I will struggle while I use that, so we're just gonna avoid that disaster. So we got that area, and then you got like this area. We're gonna make it like a weird puzzle, obviously. And then I don't know, some like spikes in there. Some spikes in there. That make it dangerous. Obviously, you don't want to go in there. There's spikes. It's very scary. Then you have you know, this. 
guy running. Boom. Boom. And he has like, I don't know, like a funny hat on, of course, a funny crown. That's his funny, 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 funny crown. Let's just try to like add like some more obvious features to it. Yeah. That's how you fix that. Put some rubies on that thing, make it look oof, make it look good. So he's running, obviously don't mind him. Then we have uh, this other fellow that's gonna be like, oh man. Uh, this guy's gonna be running, you know, he's gonna be, uh, yeah, yeah. Except he has a big old dinosaur head. like a dumb dinosaur googly eye on it. This guy, oh, this guy should have like, I don't know, like stars. Beautiful star. Beautiful star. Look at that. Beautiful star. You can tell those are stars. God bless. He's running around with a star symbol on him, of course. This guy is a mean lizard boy, and then, but he's going to have like, Face right, right here, so you can see, and uh, you know, obviously this guy's gonna have his face. So you can barely see. You can barely see his face behind him. That's one guy. That's one guy. You know what I mean? We're gonna add some purple spikes to this fellow. And, uh, do something like, oh man, look, there's watch out, there's a. Uh, Green bars at different areas. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, oh no, what are you gonna do with this green obstacle course? Oh no! You know, that's, that's basically what they're trying to figure out. These guys are running ahead. And then, doty do, we're gonna have one guy. One guy is gonna be like. Reaching. So of course, he's gonna have like the classic among us like, face right there. He's struggling. Like, oh no! Oh no! You know? And then you're gonna have the red among us. No, no, that's not good. You can't have the same color. So you have the black among us. Is it? Yeah, I guess. him and he also has oopsie, he also has a so I can't use that color for a knife a sweet knife that he's gonna stab you with oh man and that is I think Fall Guys Among Us I think that's a good that's a good showing in there and we'll uh, have blood on him. I think that's actually very good. I'm kind of, where do I, oh, I just said it like this. Okay. Beautiful. This is Fall Guys Among Us. You like how I just have my fingers on the wrong spot? Ooh wee. Get back to the drawing board, because we're not... Hello, sir. George, skillful craft. Only 980? We'll wait it out a bit. No, we'll, we'll wait. We're fine. We don't need to pay for less. Please. I'm not going to be insulted. All right. Tiny Justice. Tiny Justice. You know, Riley wants a Charizard. No one understands something this complex. Dawn. 
Sorry, that's a little too uh, highbrow for you, idiot. Uh, let's do it with the brown ground. Henceforth, this is my favorite. All right, Elizabeth. She has an eye. Let's make the ground brown. Oh, uh, to advance in your career, please, you must, you must please more pass part trees and check with detail has garnered the attention of the city's nobility now. We, we cater to the nobility. Easy money. Alright, this is gonna be easy. We're gonna do one of these right off the bat. We're gonna do like a boom. Uh, don't make like a big old. I know it looks like we're making a cave or okay, a snowman, like an orange snowman, but we're not. This is where we're we're not doing that. We're uh, slowly creating a world where we can. <coughs> oh no, that's right. You know, he has really dinky fucking hands, anyways. So we're not worried about that. We need to do uh. Boom. Right? Like, well, boom. I can't remember. I know his wings aren't like Mothman wings, like I'm fucking doing right now, so bear with me. And his wings, aren't they like a blue or a green on the inside? This is about to be a very offensive Charizard drawing to anyone who knows Charizard. I can't remember what the inside of his wings are. I know they're not this green, but they are like a greenish blue on the inside, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> ah, art. Something about it really gets the blood going, you know? Rah, rah. You got these four, you got these three. He has three claws, that's a factor. You know, he has three claws. Boom, boom. He has little fingernails at the end of each one, obviously. Those are claws, those are razor sharp claws, I don't even care what you say. extend his nails like the opposite of nail trimming I demand you have something you know if we concentrate more on his other extremities it won't look as bad when we're just this big of a failure you're gonna have a weird horn thing I know he has a longer face all right you don't have to tell me that trust me I know Anyone knows? It's me. <laughs> I, I know he has like a yellow belly. A yellow belly. You know, this is actually not going so bad so far. Oh no, we're, not, we're giving him like a weird pig nose, aren't we? This is not good. Uh oh. Alright, we'll, we'll fix this. That we'll fix. Trust, 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 trust. This. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not how you make eyes. Angry little beady eyes. I'd be mad too if I had uneven eyebrows like that. style is what we're looking for. Let's add a sun. Let's add a sun. <laughs> Minimalistic will add a sun. You know what I mean? This is like the scene in the first Pokemon thing where it shows Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise all swinging by the camera real fast. Ooh wee. Put up that Charizard. This is a classic Charizard, baby. Iconic, if you will. Thank you, thank you. A proper investment, Gior Giorgio. Thank you. Next, a giraffe hydra, a la manatee. All right, manatee. Say less. Hmm. 
wish we could edit the colors a little bit more. I realized the issue in my own. Yeah, fuck it. Boom. Iconic, just. It's nighttime. And hello, my lady. I'm currently drawing. I appreciate you observing me drawing, but, uh. You know, this is. This is, uh, my time to shine. And I will not be distracted by ye. Uh, maybe I should. Okay, I got you. We're gonna do. This with a bunch of like weird, like, you know. alright, we're not done. We're not done. We can't be done yet. Yeah, maybe, yeah we're gonna draw this. Alright, draw it a little wider. Draw it a little wider. Ah. Now we gotta draw the head, obviously. You gotta draw the various heads. How do we... What does a giraffe head look like, is a real question. It's just gonna look like a fucking stupid horse, if you ask me. If you're gonna ask me to draw a giraffe, it's gonna look like a really stupid looking horse. If you're gonna ask me to draw a giraffe hydra... Obviously, the brainy one. So we're gonna have your little hoops. There you go. You each have to have your little an antler things, right? Your little nubbins. Without a doubt, without a shadow of doubt in my mind, you gotta each gotta have your your things. <coughs> you know, you have a big eye. You know, have small little noses. Evil, evil giraffes. What makes this guy evil? Not a damn thing makes him evil. But what we do know is he's definitely an evil giraffe. Looks like a this giraffe looks like a bunch of bruised bananas. Definitely just use a smaller one and just sort of draw in circles. That might be better. It also might be a little more time consuming. Alright, do giraffes have the brown stuff on their heads? I doubt it. But what they do have probably is a little like boof ba boofs at the end of their little dunkers. Dunkers. Little like nubbins. McNubbins. I am the Giraffe Hydra, and you are you know, you will be the knight that comes to, uh, you know, your crotch socket, you know, that's where you put your There, we gotta make sure we accentuate the knight's the, the knight's dog. Uh, let's say you have a shield right here. We are the Lizard Clan, and we have, we hate, one thing. And that is... We hate giraffes. His visor, because every proper knight needs a visor. Every proper knight needs a visor. Every proper knight needs a visor. Every proper knight needs a visor that I messed up. Uh, 
this, this, and this. Right here, our proper visor for proper knights. And we gotta get a plume on, huh? Got a plume. Boom. And that's our mighty plume with our mighty axe. And of course, a beautiful crest, a beautiful. Let's fix this. A beautiful crescent moon. We got this. Gonna do this. Boom. Oh, we fight for the night. The night fights in the night for the night. Honestly, I'm really proud of this drawing. This is a. Uh... Take a screenshot of it. This is a this is one we're proud of. Not gonna lie. Too complex from yeah, Don. You're, you're a simple man. All right, now this one is a drawing from uh, our boy Drink. He just wants a cute bear. That's simple enough, right? Cute little bear. So let's do. Great art. Thank you, Mary. The nobility loves my art because it's, uh, they know what they're talking about, obviously. You now we're gonna draw some background. We're gonna draw some oof ba boof. We're gonna draw some oof ba boof. Every, obviously, every hole should have a fucking. Or every, every tree should have a hole in it. That makes it more realistic. Now we're gonna draw our cute bear. We're gonna draw a cute little bear. A cute little bear feet. A little cute little bear feet. Little bare hands. Well, his head was gonna be too big if I did that. So we're gonna do that. We'll do one of these. One of these. Hmm. Maybe a, a you know white little belly. He has his white his white face. Right. And then you get a pink little nose. I got an idea what I'm doing, right? Nope, that's not working. <laughs> <coughs> All right. How do we draw a nose without it being like really bad? Obviously, we want to make, have big eyes, big old black eyes. So, right? This is a cute little bear. I think this is a cute little bear. I say this is a cute little bear, to be honest. And you know, above it, we'll draw like uh, some honey. Don't call me honey, honey. We'll draw that. Draw like I don't know a piece of thing attaching it. We'll draw some lines. Because everyone knows if you're a bear, you like to see honey. And then we'll have some honey. Ooh, dripping out honey. And we'll have like a little bee next to it. So you tell you the little bee because of his little wings black line. There you go. That's a bee. And you got your bee boy next to it. Cute bear. I think that's, that's, that's pretty good. Cute bear. A la drink. A la island. Now we gotta draw a horse for Castro. What? A lot of simple animals. I say a lot of simple animals and I see my last two drawings knowing damn well those aren't simple. It's all right. A horse. How many times can I draw the same background? Baffling incompetence? Elizabeth, come on. Alright, well. Alright, first we're gonna have the ground. You know, we gotta have some ground. Uh, maybe some hay, like, you know, hay strewn across the place. You know? 
like that. That sounds reasonable. Um, and we're gonna have our fucking barn in the background, right? Like a big old red barn. Yeah, there's just the barn doors behind us. You're just by the side of the barn. Of course, above the barn there's light. There's hope. The sun, all that. But we're just by the side of the barn, obviously. You know, we'll do uh, like a, a red... Oh, wait. Uh, all the people I've met said this is fantastic. Can we have a little more? Oh, yeah, Don. We'll do this white thing across. Yeah, to... See, to Accentuate like the barns, barnness. You know, we'll have this like thing over here, and we'll, we'll worry about that. That's just the barns decals. We're not worried about that necessarily. Like, we'll worry about it. We're not worried about it. All right. So you got the horses, oh, then you have a longer snout, obviously. What's going on with its head? Don't you worry about its fucking head. Horses are very powerful creatures. You should really take a second to comprehend what I'm doing to this poor creature's body. It's obviously very intelligent. They're almost as intelligent as that. That's why its brain is so fucking big. Probably like the shadow of a horse with a dick nose. Alright. Alright, that's the horse. His name is Cinnamon. Your name is Mystery. You're a mystery, Spongebob. Ooh wee. So we got here. That's obviously our horse, but then he has his little horseshoes. What? Yeah. What lovely horseshoes. He looks wild, this horse. I love him. I love him so. There's your horse things. You look more like a donkey, if I'm gonna be frank. It's alright though. We're gonna draw your tail now. Dry your tail. Um, it does look like he's shitting. But that's not the problem, because he's a beautiful horse. This, it's a horse. Horse. And that's from, uh, that's Ala Castro. <coughs> now, for the real one. The real issues. What's up, dude? Your go. This will help me sell. This will help me sell houses. I, think, I was really hoping this was gonna help me sell horses. Fair enough. An electrician performing. All right, this one's from Sleeps. Fresh out of hell. You've seen him in a few of my videos if you watched this channel before. He wants an electrician performing work in the hospice room where an old man is dying. Well, that's a turn of the page one right there. And let's think. So, a hospice room. What are you looking at, jerk? There's nothing on the walls, clearly. You can see I'm, I'm hard at work right now. Maybe, uh, maybe this is the sad color we want for the hospice room. What is blue? A dreary blue. Alright, now we're gonna have... Uh, let's draw this. Draw, because we don't want to draw too far because that one dude has to be on there dying obviously um so we'll draw an old man i know i specified that he's old oopsie that's the wrong blue that's the wrong blue that blue has too much life to it and we're drawing a man without life obviously do that let's cheat we're gonna draw that you do outlines maybe this is how you just draw a circle perfect circle that's how you draw a perfect circle. Well, like a glove. Uh, and then we're gonna proceed to connect that right there. He'll be right there. You know, laying in his bed. Wait, no, 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 no. That's not what he'd be laying again. We're smarter than that. I mean, obviously he'll lay in his bed, but he's gonna be laying in his gown. In his hospital gown. 
right? He says right, like hoping that he's right, right? And then we're gonna have our arms crossed. You know, and then you'll have his, you'll have his hand, uh, you know, he'll be like right there. With his little feetsies, stick it out. It says the guy isn't dead, he's dying, but uh, you know, in the matter of, in the, in the time it took for sleeps to perform the hospital, uh, perform work in the hospital where the old man is dying, okay, let's see, you gonna have your bright red ladder of course. Sleeps his ass. Alright, right there. You know, you got his feet right here. He has his red screwdriver. You like how it extended to the top right there? It's like a Phillips head. He's going over here to fix this, uh. Bills and mill. I gotcha. This boom. That's not good. That doesn't look good. It's alright. We're gonna fix that. Just a moment. And that's obviously we're fixing that. And we got like so. Yes, Lace is bringing a screwdriver to fix a light fixture issue like this is the screen that popped out and that's uh sleeps coming in here to fix the light uh, fixture but you know just to make to accentuate that it is in fact sleeps do this your uh, yellow construction hat on boss really riding our asses lately huh and you put his sweet 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 belt filled with like pockets Pockets. Also filled with his handy dandy hammer. Why is he using specifically a hammer and a a hammer and screwdriver to fix the lights? Who knows? But uh, that's sleeps, baby. And that's how he handles stuff. Hello, my lady. There's a electrician performing work in the. Uh, hmm. Electrician. How are we gonna spell this? Performing in dead room. Sure. Art is art. Hello, my short friend with gray hair. What is your thoughts on this piece? Poor choice of color. It's supposed to represent the drabness of the hospice room. All right. This last one here is from Guac. Let's see if we can do it justice. Oh man, it's already looking like we're not gonna do it justice, but we're gonna try our god darn best, obviously. Skillfully made. Thank you, George. Two score half of art. Apparently we're doing well. I got an achievement. You know, we're gonna do this. Nice, we don't have to have this flip, do we? First things first. Why are you gonna be doing this? I don't know. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna have this going on. Draw a 
llama fur. This is how you draw llama fur, right? I've seen that bird picture. Almost like a weird long lion. <laughs> Obviously. Then you're gonna... Llamas have things that... Like, don't they have horns? Do llamas have little, little horn hornlets? Don't they? Oh no, we forgot what a basic llama looks like. Alright, well we know they have like black eyes, like boop, boop. And then they're gonna have obviously heavy eyebrows that, that, that goes without saying. They have a, a, a nose like that, like a, like a snouty nose, but uh, you can't tell from this picture obviously. You know llamas do have a lot of teeth. Everyone knows llamas are filled have like a, a big a, a big old tooth problem. <laughs> there he is with his big old three teeth, obviously. <laughs> and you gotta oh yeah, we gotta draw his arm hair. The boy, you know. He's a growing boy, he has his arm hair that he has to worry about. And then he will be holding this avocado. Mm, it's a darker avocado, obviously. I was about to try and draw like a full like cut avocado like he like oh yeah dude totally this uh llama popped it open. You know and then uh I think that looks pretty good actually. You know, just for emphasis on a, on a character, you know, on the character design. Let's just draw his hand down here. Oh my, it's gonna really bother me because I can't remember how we're gonna have, uh, llamas having. Let's, uh, you know, let's let's pizzazz this also. Let's pizzazz his shirt up a bit. Why are we pizzazzing his shirt up a bit? I don't really know, to be honest, but we think it'd be cool. So we do this. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Boom. And we hit him with a little some lightning. Boom, 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 boom. Why is he wearing a? I can't. Oh God, this is gonna bother me because I can't remember if like llamas have like little antler heads. I need to reach to my phone. It's charging in the distance. Found it. And we're gonna Google llama real quick because we're physically inept. Physically inept has nothing to do with. All right, llama, llama. Llama. Oh yeah, do they have ears? What a silly question. Boom! A llama holding an avocado and a sombrero. It's not bad. Wait a minute. No, 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 reverse, reverse. I just read, I just realized, where's the sombrero? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have we done? I'm actually upset with myself. Oh, no. Oh, my God, this is so upsetting, actually. Oh, my God, that was such a good... Ah! All right, now we're gonna hold the shirt out again. I feel like we might have, uh, no, yeah, we're definitely fucking up all over the place. All right. Egg prevent disease according to preliminary study. Nice. That's what we needed. Avocado, some bread. We're not messing this up again. I refuse. So, there's an extra long shirt, extra wide sleeve. You know, because we're uh, a growing llama, we need to be seen as a force. All right, never mind. All right, back to what we were doing before.
Such a fluffy llama. <laughs> Realistically, it looks like I'm just drawing Sasquatch in a shirt, right? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, that's where we messed up before, because that's where the hat's supposed to be. Right, 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 right. And trick me twice. No, this seems like move. Now we just gotta go back right and guac. The guac, the avocado. Right, you know, it's just, we got that, and we got a little, a little, 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 little stem. A little stem you can push in so you can know exactly what the heck, so exactly where, uh, where you push in. Let's, what else do we got? Do we just like do we just need to add some like culture to this thing? Like uh Look, dude, look how ethnic it is. It has green and red on top of it. Ethnic. Alright. I think this is actually pretty good, though. Uh... Not necessarily better than the last one, but I'd say it's pretty good. A llama holding... Yeah, why am I not typing? A llama holding a avocado in a sombrero in samba perfect i think that's perfect deja vu bitch deja vu this one is that deja vu i refuse to acknowledge that as deja vu. yeah you walk into the wall you idiot some of us have work to do hello sir are you here? Are you interested in my sombrero? I want it. I don't understand what you're saying to me right now. We're gonna draw some weird artistic stuff for you. We're just gonna draw this. This one is a freestyle. I'll, uh, you guys get lucky. A minimalistic approach? Interesting. That's not minimalistic. What the hell are you saying, lady? So we're gonna do this. Classic that. So, you know, we're gonna try and edit, try and make this a little bit. Nope. Trying to make this a lot cooler. You know, it's edgy as heart that I'm making. <laughs> Alright, let's try and fix this. This is clearly like a mistake. Gotta make it sharper at the end. There you go. And then, uh, what's happening? Most unoriginal. Dude, I hate the fact that they're saying that that shit's unoriginal. Like, this is what I'm making right now, is unoriginal, and I guarantee it's gonna sell better than that. Which is gonna be very upsetting when it sells better. Because this is called testing out all of my shit. Heart with some ink. Copies make for poor. What? Copy! There we go. Edgy hearts. If 
if that sells over the llama. Thank you. At least we can say that there's an interesting lack of complexity for that one. Because I won't stand for the llama being insulted. For some reason, it keeps getting mocked. Call him mockery. What's that right there? I think I can draw that exact dog. This is one way to do art. You, dude, we know that I'm a fantastic artiste and you guys are ignorant, ignorant idiots. So I'm not really concerned about your opinions. This would have the worst ROI. What's ROI mean? I don't even know what that means. But I'm gonna try and copy this dog up here. Already messed up, I gotcha. Oh, what a blunder. Okay, this bitch plays chess. She thinks she's cool. Whatever, lady. Because no one used the term blunder until chess became a thing. You know what I mean? Deja vu because you came back here within twenty within twelve hours and looked at the thanks George and looked at the fucking painting and was like you know this is bad then walked away came back and was like this is the same painting no shit lady sorry you know I lost my cool and it's not a very past part to weak thing to do all right now we're gonna do right here. Right here. Boom. Boom. That's the that's the drawing that's up. Oh, I know. There we go. Original one hundred. It's an original one hundred percent drawing by yours truly. Go ahead. Look at that. Go ahead. No, I insist. Go look at that drawing and tell me how good it is. I want more money for it. That's how great. No, thank you. I'll wait for it. I will let the rich lady come and tell me how great that drawing is. Please, I insist. Damn it. Of course, art could lack complexity, but is it still good? This is complex. No, it's not. It's not really complex. You got me. That one is just a cheap rendition of what is outside my house. I don't want my boy George to come in here and show you guys what real art looks like. Dude, shut up about that. Did my three-year-old make this? No! Is your three-year-old the worker that... <coughs> <coughs> Is your three-year-old the person that works and draws this right here? Have I seen this painting before? You have. It's because you came here yesterday and looked at the exact same painting. You know, this is going to make me very stressed out with these idiots. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, this was Past Part to We at Troll Plays, Past Part to We, the Starving Artist game. Uh, episode 3. You know, uh, if you stuck around until the final drawing, I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know all that nonsense. Comment down below to see if you, and give me an idea for something else you want to see drawn if I uh, play this game again on the channel. Who knows? I'll catch you guys next time. As always, love ya. Bye bye. called riding the bull.